Good afternoon, preppers. Thank you for joining us on Goshen Prepping. When it comes to bugging out, I say all the time, you should not try to bug out unless your life depends on it. But you know, there are certain times where you still need to do it. Maybe there's been a natural disaster or like as we saw in Ohio, a train wreck spilling all kinds of chemicals and you have no choice but to leave. Now, there's so many videos of things you can actually pack in your bug out bag, and I'm not going to get into detail about all the survivability stuff and canned food or whatever you're going to be putting there. That's not what we're getting into. But instead, I'm actually going to show you five things, five things that most people don't think about that you should actually have at the ready in case you, well, not even just bug out, but maybe actually have to evacuate. Here's five things you want to take with you. Number one, medication. There's all kinds of medications, obviously, that people take, and many of them do not go well together. You know, in the emergency department, we always actually have people come in, and there'd be some people who would simply say, well, here's all my medications, and you can't prescribe certain things because it may actually have uh, contraindications to what they're already taking. But sometimes you'd actually have a patient come in, and they would actually have a very nice, well-listed, organized sheet of every medication, the dose, how often they take it, et cetera. Not only should you have your medications at the ready, whatever they may be, even talk to your doctor about actually having an extra month prescribed to you in case you need to leave or evacuate for, for, for whatever reason. Depending on the pharmaceutical, he may say yes. But actually have it listed out too. Very well documented, showing everything on there. So that way, if you have to leave, and let's say you do leave without the medication or you have to get some from somewhere else, at least you know exactly what you have. Number two, legal documents. Boy, and there's so many things we could list here, isn't there? Everything from bills, credit card statements, all your utilities should be listed. Not only simply listed, but your account numbers where you can actually contact somebody, phone numbers, addresses, etc. But now we're also getting into mortgage statements, any type of legal things like marriage certificates, documents, um, your uh, driver's license, at least copy of all your driver's licenses, birth certificates, all of those things. The list goes on and on. And I'm sure if you brainstorm, you can come up with a whole bunch of them. Now, I will tell you really quick, at the... Uh, bottom of the description, in the description you'll see, we actually sell kind of like checklists of things you can actually get. And some of these things are on the checklist. You can actually fill it out and keep it actually, you know, in a safe place in case you need to leave, you'll have all, all that information. You definitely don't want to have it so you evacuate and you realize, oh my gosh, I left natural gas on or your electricity, whatever. You want to be able to contact all those companies, especially when it comes to bills. A lot of bill collectors are not so nice, even though you're evacuating, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'll try to list as many as I can throughout these videos for other stuff too, but if you want to pick up the pack, it's actually pretty negligible. You can actually, or I mean, as far as the price goes, you can actually get our entire pack, or you can simply just buy the specific ones as far as these checklists goes. But again, you don't need to buy them. I try to list as much as I can in this video. Number three, photos. And this is a tough one because even though we live in a digital age now, there are so many photos that are irreplaceable, aren't there? And you can actually get copies of certain photos, maybe ones hung on the wall. But if I were you, especially photos, photos that are very, very important to you, either get copies of them, keep the copies or put the originals in your pack. But either way, have a pack that has all the photos you'll always want to take with you just in case. Number four, extra cash. Now, how much extra cash? It's difficult to say, isn't it? Because you may not have a whole lot of extra. I always recommend to go to the bank and see if you can pick up simply just a little stack of, in this case, $10 bills. Here's 250 bucks. You could probably even have 20s as well. Now, we're not necessarily talking about crap hitting the fan, although that's a situation too you have to look at if you have to evacuate and then things really go south. And having smaller denomination bills is actually uh, very advantageous because if you start pulling out some hundreds or fifties, they'll say, hmm, here's somebody who has a lot of money. But either way, actually having a lot of the bills that are broken down like this, and I also recommend don't keep it in one spot. So let's say you have 250 bucks, spread it out among the people that are with you you know, obviously people you trust, uh, put some in your left shoe, put some in your right shoe, put some wherever you want to put some cash to basically spread it out. So that way, if you do get robbed, you say, look, dude, all I have is $30. And they may or may not believe you. But either way, they're probably still not going to walk away with all your cash. So have a lot of extra cash. Get one of these um, from your bank and put it in your little kit that you're going to take with you. I mean, again, this could be like a little tub, putting all the stuff in one tub or a little box. So that way, if you do need to evacuate, it's all right there. Number five, a portable hard drive. Yep, a little portable hard drive. This guy, I think, is four terabytes. But try to get the one that all it needs is a USB cable. There's, of course, that some of you have, have a USB cable and you need to plug them in the wall. They don't, they'll hold a lot more information, but drives like this will actually hold quite a bit. And again, I'll put a link below for a couple that may work well for you. But what I do, 
and not even just my computer, but my whole family's computer is every so often we'll plug this in and we'll just back up everything to this to this drive. And that way, if we need to need to evacuate or leave in a quick hurry, we can simply grab it and off we go. And again, it'll plug into anything, any other type of laptop you have in other locations or even if obviously you take a laptop with you. But obviously, we're talking about some vital information here. We already talked about taking photos, but how many family photos do you have that are digital or family videos? or family, family documents, you can put everything on here. Now, I would still recommend actually having paper because uh, who knows if there's like an EMP or you get caught in a flood. I mean, I would still take this. I would actually take this and put it inside um, either a really good sealable Ziploc type bag, okay? Or you can actually get a document bag like this right here. We have one of these that actually has all our stuff in it in case we need to leave, but it's pretty nice. It actually holds pretty much everything and it's supposedly waterproof and fireproof. Maybe this summer I'll put it to the test to see how well it really does work. But I've actually had good reviews as far as what people said how well it does work doing it. But at least have something like that to be able to protect it. So there's five things right there. Obviously, there's so many things you need to put into your bug out bag or your evacuation kit, however you want to go ahead and word it or what you prepare for. But here's five things I don't want you to miss because some, these are things that it's actually going to make your life so much easier because a lot of the stuff we're talking about in this list is practically speaking irreplaceable. But either way, what would you put in the list? I'm sure you have some things too. Thank you for watching.